United with Christ, meet local churches with open doors, serving throughout the Border Valley community, and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Good morning, El Paso and Juarez. We thank you for stopping by and visiting with us today. Uh, we've got an interesting program this morning, and we're privileged to have Gracie Martinez here. She's the president of the Road Queens Motorcycle Club. And just before we get into that, uh, there's been different individuals that ask, well, how do you minister and witness to the motorcycle community? And I think if you take it out of 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, in verses 19 through 23, and I'm going to read to you out of the message. I love how it puts it. Even though I am free of the demands and the expectations of everyone, I have voluntarily become a servant to any and all in order to reach a wide range of people, religious, non-religious, meticulous moralists, loose living immoralists, the defeated, the demoralized, Whoever, I didn't take on their way of life, I kept my bearings in Christ, but I entered their world and tried to experience things from their point of view. I've become just about every sort of servant there is in my attempts to lead those that I meet into a God-saved life. I didn't just want to talk about it, I wanted to be in on it. And that's what we believe here at the Seed of Abraham. That's what we believe as pastors. That's what we believe as individuals. And I want to encourage you this morning. When I came in this morning, quick testimony, I had a lot of pain in my hip, had a lot of pain in my back. And the receptionist, he was sitting there and he said, do you have pain in your back? And, you know, I looked at him and said, well, praise God, yes, I do. And he prayed for me, and absolutely every bit of the pain left. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm saying that there is an anointing, and that anointing is here, here at KSCE, and that's why that we support this station, and everyone should, is to keep the gospel, the good news, going out to El Paso and Juarez. So call in, leave your prayer requests. We'll try and get to them. But understand this, God does it all. Now, I want to switch over this morning. Uh, my lovely wife, Pastor Carol, uh, she's going to be interviewing with Gracie and uh, of the Road Queens. And because I wanted to sit back and very honestly just <laughs> listen and hear some of the fascinating things that Gracie has because she's got quite a history here in El Paso. So, baby, take a hold of it. <laughs> Well, El Paso, let me introduce to you Gracie Martinez. Uh, again, she is the president of the El Paso Road Queens, the only women's motorcycle club in El Paso that we know of. And she also has uh, been working with the Rio Grande Legal Aid for 31 years. So let me introduce to you Gracie. Good morning, Gracie. Good morning, Carolyn. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, um, about what you do, and how long you've been there, and what gave you a heart for the community in El Paso? Okay, well, I've been working with Legal Aid, uh, and it's Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid for, uh, I'm going to 31 years, and um, I don't know, maybe that's what gave me my, my uh, start with the community, and <coughs> I've been doing my job for a long time, I've met a lot of people, I've had people who've come back to, uh, and I call them like repeat customers, right, they come <laughs> back, they, they need help, and so um, it's, uh, Legal Aid is, is a, we do a lot of things. We uh, mostly have civil cases, and um, the things that I deal with the most are divorce cases. And you know, it's unfortunate, but divorce cases are where there is the most need. Family law, 
uh, but we do a lot of other things. We deal with housing, we deal with um, ev evictions, foreclosures, uh, guardianships, uh, migrant workers. We have a lot of things that are going on. Mm -hmm. But what I do is is uh, we, we screen applicants for uh, a divorce and, and uh, certain criteria guidelines that we use. And if they qualify, then they're referred to an attorney, uh, a private attorney here in El Paso, where we have a mandatory pro bono program. And each case, uh, we refer two cases a year to each attorney. So that keeps us pretty busy. Wow. Yeah. It Real sure busy. does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know that um, because of budget cutbacks and stuff that your caseload has increased. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because when I come and visit you, you have mounds and mounds of lives, uh, histories, you know, that you're dealing with in your desk. I think you said your caseload is over 300. Right. And so uh, you definitely have a heart for, for people. Uh, what, how did you get into the motorcycle community? And what amazes me is that you've been out there 10 years. This is your 11th year right. as the Road Queens. Tell us about right. that. Well, um, originally I was going to, I took the class for the motorcycle because I thought one day my husband wouldn't be able to ride. And so I need to ride his bike home. <laughs> and so I went ahead and took the class, and I got my license a few days later, got my motorcycle, and I've been riding ever since. I never intended to um, start a women's motorcycle club. Mm -hmm. It was my friend's idea. And so in the end, she decided it really wasn't going to be for her. But I had already made a commitment to do that. I said, you know, I'm, I already committed. Um, I couldn't go back. And so I just moved forward, and I had women that supported me and I couldn't let them down. That's how mm -hmm. I felt. If I said no, I was going to let them down. And I, I felt like I couldn't do that. So um, we started our club and we decided as a women's motorcycle club that we would help women and children with cancer. So every year we have a benefit run for a woman, a child um, that has that cancer. Um, Cancer is just everywhere, and we have so many people in yes. need. We're not the only club that helps people with cancer, but we focus on women and children. Most of the people we've helped um, have been children, and the motorcycle community is so giving, mm -hmm. whether it's a woman or a child, but a child is just so special. Yes. And so we've had a great success with yes. each of our runs. We've had up to 400 people participate in our runs and so we're very blessed that we're able to help whoever we're helping um, for that year last year on our 10th anniversary we donated the money to the children's hospital at providence which was wow that was another awakening to make us go maybe another 10 years i don't know <laughs> um, because they gave us a tour of the hospital and we saw all the children that are there yes. not knowing what's going on they have no care in the world, but they're there. That's their home, whether it be for a few days or a few months. And by donating our money to them for that benefit that we had on our anniversary, um, they were able to buy more things for more, more children. So that was a good feeling mm -hmm. to be able to, to uh, have that for other people, not just one, one family, but other families. Mm -hmm. I think what uh, it strikes me in with all of this is that also you're not this ginormous uh, club in number wise you do these huge things if El Paso if you could experience one of these runs that these ladies do um, you know you have this registration of ten dollars a person or yes or fifteen dollars a couple if we're both riding and that gives you a band, a, a wristband, and generally it's steak and beans and potato salad. I mean, it's some good food that I think, how in the world does that $10 feed 400 bikers, 400 registrants, and still have money get left over? But somehow it just multiplies between your, you know, you sell tickets for 50-50 or for door prizes or things like that. You know, we've always backed you with everything that we know how to do. But the thing I'm trying to get across, El Paso, is that this, these ladies are, I mean, probably around 10 or 12 members. 
Actually, right now we only have eight. Eight We've members. had a few that have left because they've left town. or Right, But exactly. the ladies that we have are, are all professional women, very committed, and um, won't take no for an answer. <laughs> so we, we get a lot of donations uh, for, for food, for uh, volunteers. Oh, my God. Our first run, we had over 40 volunteers. And so women stick together. And we always encourage women to come help us. And we have a lot of those same volunteers still helping us. And then we have new ones. And whichever family we pick to help, mm -hmm. we always encourage the family to get involved. Most of them are people that have never uh, had to do anything with the biker community. But we want everybody, whether they need help or not, to join us, to volunteer, to even mm -hmm. join our club. It's not just about bikers it's bikers for people bikers for bikers right. and so the women that we have in our club are just i mean i can't say enough about the women in my club yeah, because they've been with me some for quite a while ladies yes they're amazing oh, yeah. yes, i mean they are. you talk talk about master multitaskers those gals <laughs> have it down pat and uh, we've always been very involved with you uh, on another issue of course we support all the runs we're out there for every club because being a christian club we're there to support the clubs and minister to them, but also to back you and to be involved alongside, walk alongside you. But uh, you are also the secretary of the coalition. The coalition, yes. Would you explain that? Well, the coalition, um, when I joined more than 10 years ago, um, is when we started our club. And the coalition takes um, people into account that want to start a motorcycle club. So once they um, meet a certain criteria and show that they're committed and start to hang around with mm -hmm. clubs and, and people and show that they will participate and not just be out there to say that they're a biker club, a motorcycle club, um, because, you know, that happens. It happens everywhere. It's, right. it's not just, just with bikers, but it happens everywhere. But we want people that are going to be committed. So um, once they're in, in the coalition and they become a, a motorcycle club, they have to participate. They have to have a run, a benefit run uh, each year. They need to participate in our toy run, which is the biggest event that we have. It's uh, most of them. Um, uh, our, our road queens participate a lot and we do registration mm -hmm. and we help the planning, but it's not our run. <laughs> this is a run for the coalition, right. for the people, for the community of El Paso, mm -hmm. for children that will not receive toys for Christmas. Um, uh, and it really, I mean, it'll put a smile on their face. So that, that ride that we have for the toy run is something we want everybody to join us not everybody registers we would love for everybody to register <laughs> but you know not everybody registers but um they will pay their registration and we ask them to bring a new toy and those toys are donated to different agencies to different schools to different families throughout the el paso community sundan park juarez um canutillo san elisario sparks Horizon, Montana Vista, I mean, the list is endless, and we will always have people who need help. So that is what we focus on. Right. That is what we focus on, helping the community and um, getting more people involved, and you do not have to be a biker to get involved. Um, and, of course, you know, a lot of times things that are, the, the focus might not always be on the good, but it should be. It should be focused on the good because it's not just bad. There's bad and good in everything. But we do a lot of good, and sometimes it's not, um, it's not recognized. focused right, yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not recognized enough. Although we've seen in the community more people are, are becoming a little, and we're biker friendly, always. But people are a little afraid of that, and, but bikers are going to be the nicest people you meet. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and I've been very blessed to meet both of you. I, I, why, why I'm here today, I have no idea. But um, it, it's, it, you know, people come in and out of your life for whatever reason. I've gotten to know uh, Pastor Caroline and Pastor JR. And uh, they become one of my best friends. So that's another thing that you have to look forward to. Yes. In your commitment. Yes. You will meet a lot of people that you will not ever forget. 
Absolutely. You know, if I may ask something, Gracie, I yes. said I'd be quiet, and I'm not. No, that's but, fine. You know, I know when you when you're speaking about the biker community, there is such a heart that you have for them, and we do too. It's like God spoke to our hearts and said, "This is what I want you to do now," because our lives change and we grow through mm -hmm. that, and we see God moving through that, right. and we see God touching lives. And one of the things that I love, and maybe you could comment a little bit, the importance of having a coalition is because without boundaries, without organization, you will have chaos. And chaos is what a lot of people associate with the motorcycle community, but they need to understand here in El Paso what we're doing is something different. And we're trying to raise an awareness across this city and not only this city but state after state after state that bikers are good people too you know i mean right go well, ahead with your heart on that right <laughs> bikers are great people i never imagined that i would call myself a biker but i'm proud to call myself a biker because i know what that means Yes. If I'm stuck on the side of the road, the first person that's going to stop is going to be a biker. Mm -hmm. They see my bike, they're going to stop. That's who we are. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Whether it's in El Paso or anywhere else. It's a um, connection, maybe, that we have. Right. A connection that nobody else will understand. Mm -hmm. But we want to share that with the community so that they know that here in El Paso, we are open to a lot of things. We have a lot of benefits. People have learned a lot from the bikers. That's mm -hmm. how I see it. I mean, I see mm -hmm. people having benefits, having runs, having, they're not part of the coalition, mm -hmm. but they're doing it and right. duplicating yes. what we've done That's for right. many, many years. Um, we talk about the toy run. The toy run has been around 31 or 32 years already. Right. It started way before I started doing anything. And it was again, bikers helping bikers, bikers, joining together to get donations for the families of the bikers. And I don't think that they ever imagined it would get this big. Right. I've been doing it for five years. I never imagined it would get this big. Mm -hmm. And so the, to address the coalition, it is important to be part of the coalition so that you know and you're educated because we always educate people, learn how to write, take the class, make sure that what you are doing is the right thing. Because there are a lot of people, just like anything else, right? Mm -hmm. People will assume this is the right thing. It's not always the right thing. And Probably. there are rules and boundaries for everything. Yes. Yeah. And so I think, you know, if, if there are people out there, we want them to come join us. Come to an event. Um, we have great sponsors. We would love for you to go and um, uh, go, to, go to the sponsors that help us. Um, some of them, I'm sure, are tired of hearing from us, right, over and over and over. But we will they sponsor us and we promote their business they they know that we're going to come back they're going to get people there so all of this is just like a circle as mm -hmm. i understand there's over what 3600 bikers in the coalition and like 48 clubs and we're almost at 50 clubs almost yes, at 50 yes, clubs we are. now mm -hmm. but you know something that i have found personally pastor carol and i is that there is a great respect for god in the biker community when we start to pray or something, everything gets quiet. Mm -hmm. We're at a coalition meeting with all of these bikers in there. And boy, when you pray, they get respectful. Mm -hmm. They know God. Our desire mm -hmm. is to make him, you know, Jesus Lord of their lives and see all of this moving forward. But there's a tremendous respect that they have for God. And we're seeing that more and more and more. And I want to thank you and the whole Motorcycle Coalition and all the motorcyclists for allowing God to step in. You know, I don't think it's something, God isn't something we bring in, he's already there. Right. But the mm -hmm. respect has to come from each individual and that respect is contagious. Well, I would say that that respect, yes, is, is very contagious and not just that, it's the people that are there like you um, for us to listen to the word of God, for us to, we respect you and respect what you're doing for us. So we need to support that. We need to know 
um, that we have to be part of that. It's not just because it's a party today and we can't go tomorrow. Mm. We need, to, we also need to be educated. A lot of people, I mean, every day we learn something new. Technology, oh my God, I, I don't <laughs> want to get, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but there's always something new. And mm -hmm. I think that especially for the new clubs that are coming in, it's very important, very important. We, I think we have so many more new clubs than older clubs. Yes. Now, so mm -hmm. the constant education, the constant educating of, um, of all the people that are the young crowd, I see a generation gap. I don't want to say that out loud, <laughs> yeah. but there is a generation <laughs> gap and people need to be educated. Yes. We yeah. definitely need to be educated. And what you provide is something that nobody else can provide. Mm -hmm. How many motorcycle clubs do we have that are Christian clubs? Well, we've got four, I believe, mm -hmm. at this point, and uh, no, four to five. Okay. Depends on sometimes in, sometimes not. But right. you know how that works. Mm -hmm. And the the five Christian motorcycle clubs that serve the community, I thank God for every one of them. In fact, we're putting together for next week, we're going to have two of the other motorcycle clubs in with us. And we've already had Greg and his lovely mm -hmm. wife. So it... It's a thing of working together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that I'm learning from it is the fact that the brother and sisterhood that is there, you very seldom see in today's society. I'm not picking on any one particular facet of that. Mm -hmm. But there is a brother and sisterhood within the motorcycle community, and that really gets to my heart and touches us, that makes it worth working for. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree. I totally agree. I, I, I think that uh, I don't think people realize the camaraderie that we have, mm -hmm. yeah. the connection that we have. Um, it's people come in slowly. Mm -hmm. You get to, and you know, it's not just about having to run that day, but you get to see these people often. We support each others events yes. we try and and be there all the time and if we're not there we send somebody from our club at least to represent our club to be there mm -hmm. um i think that we need to continue to do that we need to uh push people and i don't want to use the word push but we do need to continue to educate them as to why it's so important and when they're young young clubs that are coming in they need to see the importance of that because in the end this is what they're going to have. If this is who you are, if you're a biker, this is what you do. This is what you have. Right. You know, and, and if it's a, a true commitment, then you're going to be doing it the rest of your life, whether you like it or not, because it's going to be who you are. Exactly. And it's like what you were talking about. We have an event coming up a Friday evening, and it's open to whoever would like to come. Um, but we are, it's our annual prayer dinner. And uh, Christian clubs have come together and we decided, you know, we really need to pray in the new year together, open it to all clubs, and uh, you buy your own meal. We're going to be meeting at the Cattlemen's, uh, Great American, not Cattlemen's, Great American on Mesa Hills, 6.30 Friday evening. And it's open to everybody, uh, everyone. And last year we had uh, the German MC and, and some shadow riders and, you know, several other clubs that had come and some sentados and others and we all we ate together and then we there were some words of encouragement that were shared we took communion together and we prayed for every club in el paso we prayed for the motorcycle coalition we prayed for the runs that were coming that they would be successful but also be safe we've had a lot of deaths lately um yes. they're just this morning you know caesar cordova you know, resting in the Lord, he will be laid to rest today. And he was in our uh, our motorcycle uh, family, mm -hmm. and uh, he'll be laid re to rest. And he was, but he wasn't even on his motorcycle. He was in his Fred Loya, his business van mm -hmm. and uh, SUV. So whether you're in a motorcycle or you're in your car, whatever, if you're part of our, our family, we take that sincere, um, and we build, I think what means a lot to me is that that commitment is commitment. We build it on whether it's convenient or not. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's tested. It's tested because inconvenient times come, you know. And just the other night, one of our brothers went down, uh, someone pulled in front of him, two teenage girls, and he flew over, and, 
and uh, so we had you know Caesar up on one floor and we had another brother down in the ER and then we had just done a couple of weeks early a service for another young man who had been in our community 31 years old but was in a truck accident and so you know these are young people you know it's um, you know accidents don't have an age preference they don't have a social preference they don't have a you know it it happens life happens and we've got to be connected enough and I know for us uh, this family called our motorcycle community family um, has brought a lot of healing in my own life because uh, and I don't mean this in the wrong way but sometimes the the church world is not very committed to one another uh, you know, we can get offended and we just, we just walk off or we just cut off relationships and we don't really treat each other as family. And I haven't had that in this realm. And uh, it's a joy to serve. It's a fun time to get together and go shopping <laughs> with all the toys and fill all these orders that come in because the work has just begun after the toy run. And uh, we've averaged to, to give out as a coalition uh, about 5,000 toys every single year. And so uh, if you have questions for us, you can either look up the El Paso Motorcycle Coalition on Facebook. There's a Facebook site for it. You can private message Ryan. He's not with us today. Uh, he's also on the board of the coalition. Fabulous brother. Great man. And Or you can call into the station and we, they'll get us the messages and we can answer questions for you. But uh, we're here to serve El Paso. We're here to serve El Paso. For us in this particular venue, it's through the community and the charity giving and carrying a one-on-one -on -one hands-on into our region for people in need. And yes, we do check to make sure they're valid, that they're correct needs, they know that they're uh, actual needs. And uh, because when we commit, we commit. So again, call into the station if you have any prayer requests or questions, 532-8518. And uh, honey, would you like to close us up here? Well, let's let's close in prayer. And Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, and we speak to those out in our community. And Lord God, that means Juarez, El Paso, every individual. And we pray for a healing for them, body, soul, and spirit the mind, the will, the emotions, all of the areas of their lives, those that are suffering. Mm. Lord God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to touch them, to heal them, to set them free, yes, oh God, yes, to Lord. give them what they need in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you, and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903. Or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours. Or you can visct our website at www.kscetv.com. God bless you.